Hey truckers, this is early 1981 and we are back with some more On The Road Truck Simulator PlayStation 5 gameplay. I do hope all you fantastic viewers are well. As you can see it's night time here and we are headed to Duisburg. I hope I have pronounced that properly. I think it's a well known part of Germany for its steelworks. But this is actually my first time driving at night. I have actually um, completed a few deliveries off screen. Slowly starting to get to grips with the game, still um, finding the, the steering very, very sensitive. I did actually mount a curb a few kilometres back, and sadly, with that, I won't be delivering an undamaged cargo because it did give me a, a damage penalty. But this is really cool driving in the night. We've got the lights on, the radio, the night sky. Like I said, I'm actually really starting to get into this game. When I think about playing the, the PlayStation 5 at the moment, this is the the game It's really um, tickling my fancy. But I do hope you fantastic viewers are enjoying the game. My previous video easily surpassed 50 likes, so I cannot thank you all enough for that. And if you do want to see more of this content on the channel, please make sure you keep smashing the like button. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. So just sticking to the outside um, lane here, I do like to give myself that little bit of uh, leeway with the hard shoulder. But as you can see, I'm really having to turn the steering wheel constantly, even for these slight bends. But at the moment, I've just not found a sensitivity setting that I'm fully happy with. That gives me full confidence in my ability to drive the the truck but if you guys do have any recommendations for controller settings and the sensitivity layout on the PlayStation 5 I am using the controller please leave a comment in the comment section because I would truly appreciate that but driving at night you've really got to give it your full focus here's this lorry overtaking me here now I'm sat at 78 kilometers an hour there's an 80 kilometer speed limit for me so he must be clearly sitting at 90. I think that's only as fast as my truck actually goes. I have had it up to 90. I couldn't seem to get it any faster than that. Fortunately I never encountered any speed cameras. There's a look of outside the cabin. I really have to start using more of the, the camera angles especially for for reversing and parking up the lorry. It's just coming on for 3 a.m. Lots of stars out in the sky. But the lanes here on the Autobahn, which I do assume this is the Autobahn, guys, the motorway in Germany. Please correct me if I am wrong, but the lanes are extremely tight. It looks as if you've got very uh, limited space to the next lane without crossing over the, the stripes. The cab looks really, really cool, all lit up like this with the, the lights on. It's really good seeing the reflection in my rear mirror of the cars coming up behind me, or the vehicles, should I say. But I will continue to play the game in between recording sessions and try and level up and build up the company. I say if you guys have got any tips, hints, suggestions on how to improve things for me, please say so in the comment section. Just seeing if the, the lights go brighter there, but obviously I'm at the, the full beam. Just doesn't seem to give me much light off in the distance. Just taking this corner a little bit too quick there. Sitting at 78 kilometers an hour. But the bends on the road can be surprisingly tight. But we've got 109 kilometers to destination now. But really enjoying driving along here at night with the radio on for company. And hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. I think it's quite cool, the night sky. The stars are out. And it certainly looks as if the sun will be rising very shortly. 
Cool little bridge we are. Going over here. That's the one thing about being the driving at night. You're not seeing the beautiful scenery that the game does offer at times. From what I've seen of Germany, it really is a, a beautiful place. Some fantastic views and countryside scenery. Either side of the, the motorway. I did fill up the, the tank with diesel before I headed off on this trip. So I do have plenty of fuel. But I actually really enjoying the radio. I've had it on for a, a few trips now. And I don't think I've encountered the same song twice. I could well be wrong. But it would be interesting to know how much of a soundtrack is on the radio. I just hope it's copyright free. And this video won't get taken down due to it. But like everything, just learning my way about the game. So far, really, really enjoying it. The night sky certainly getting lighter now. I think the first time I played this on the PlayStation 4 when the game just came out, I do recall now that I have driven at night time before. I honestly thought, I think I actually tweeted it, I, I screen captured it, that there was a UFO in the sky. It was clearly just a plane, but the way it looked and with the, the flashing lights, I was thinking, wow, this game's got a UFO, Easter egg. This lorry just gonna let him pull out in front of me. He is indicating. Look at that, I'm a gentleman on the road. Stick into the highway code, I do hope. Making good time here on this trip. Just over seven hours until I need to rest. I do find it weird that every vehicle seems to overtake me. I did mention it in my first video. I'm not sure if there's different um, speed limits for different vehicles in Germany, but even the lorry seem to to blow by me as if I'm going in reverse. I've actually really got a focus here when nighttime driving, even more so than when you're driving in the day. Duisburg must just be off there in the distance. thing I do know about Duisburg is apart from their football team is that I'm sure it's a, a well-known city in Germany for its steel work. And this is actually really daunting, got to shift over lanes here. Checking my wing mirrors before I do cut across lanes. But I just find the lanes extremely tight. It's probably just due to my poor handling skills off the, the lorry itself. But like I keep mentioning, the sensitivity of the, the steering is, is extreme. When you're sitting at this speed, one little error is going to cost you. But it looks like we will be coming off the motorway very shortly. Although you do have to focus playing this game, I am finding it very relaxing. It's a game you could just sit and play for a couple of hours, no problem whatsoever. Time actually gets away from you when you're playing this. I think I've done two or three trips since the, the first the delivery that you guys seen on YouTube. And I've done it in one sitting. I think it was like 10 o'clock in the morning and the next minute I know it's it's near lunchtime. That is a sign that you are enjoying a game. Time flies when you're having fun as they say. But I could easily watch another YouTuber and um, play this game, especially at night with it, the radio on for 
a little bit of background noise and I could probably fall asleep to it easily. There's another damage early, that's terrible man, low damage 4%. Can't believe, I think it was the railing I did clip. Just my spatial awareness of the truck is poor at the moment. So I'm definitely going to be losing reputation points and money with this load sadly. I think I got like a 5% damage when I clipped the curb and I just clipped it and no more. I was quite surprised that it gave me the 5% damage. But it is what it is. The petrol stations look cool all lit up like that as well. 30 kilometers until we do reach our drop-off point. I imagine we'll start to come into the the slip roads of Duisburg very shortly. The radio feature certainly is cool. The music's pretty cool as well. Actually find yourself uh, singing along to it at times. It looks like we are going to be turning off very, very shortly. This road is so bendy and winding, it's, it's crazy. There's our sign here. Satnav, tell me to turn off as well. I find these little slip roads so tough to navigate. I really have to drop the speed. But I will continue to keep playing about with the, the steering settings and the sensitivity settings to try and get a setting that I'm happy with and confident. There's the, there's me clipped there. I'm calling it a curb. That's exactly what I'd done before. I actually think that car, maybe that wasn't my fault there actually. Maybe that was a car behind me that ran into the back of the truck there. I've got no idea. I'd have to watch that back, but I've been punished for it anyway. There are still a good few glitches within the game, sadly, guys, but it's a massive improvement compared to when the, the game was released. The game is unplayable. So 10k. Hopefully it's a, an easy reverse and maneuver for me to, to drop this load off. But half past four in the morning. Looks like it's going to be a nice clear day here in Duisburg. They're turning left here. I'm starting to have better awareness and vision looking out for the, the traffic lights and things. I'm going to get stuck here, ain't I? Yeah, typical. Lights change red when early pulls up. Wow, busy place for this time in the morning, I'll tell you. I'd say the, the most of the people headed off to work are some of them coming home from work on a night shift. But it does look like a, an industrial area. From what I read and from what I've I researched, the game is pretty accurate with the layout. Germany and the, the city and the surrounding areas. But this light has taken an age to turn. One thing I don't like is the people walking about there and it just looks so robotic. Their movements look so unnatural. The cruise control feature really is a godsend in this game. Once I get up to required speed, I just enable it. That allows you to focus on your driving and your visual awareness. Just driving through the streets of Duisburg here, three kilometers to our destination. 
So we're almost there. Sadly, it is going to be a, a damaged cargo that we are delivering. Probably 9-10% if I add all up the, the damage penalties I have been given. Looks like we're just turning off here. Worldwide shipping. Hopefully there's a break in the traffic where we can get across easily. Still struggling with the reversing part of the game at times. Like I say, this is about my fourth run. Slow and steady wins the race as they say. I'm actually going to try out the overhead camera here when I get the, the truck into position. And hopefully I can reverse this back into the, the cargo bay with no issues whatsoever. I just really need to touch the analog stick here. As you, you probably all know from the first video, I do not drive in real life. Drive people crazy, maybe. I've never got around to passing my driving test or even taking any lessons. But there we go, fairly happy with that reverse park in there. Just need to go and drop off the invoice and deliver the cargo. And that should be another successful delivery. Apart from the damage we did do to the cargo with a few um, errors on my part but that is it for today's journey guys I do hope you did enjoy the video if you did please make sure to leave a like if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and until the next video take care peace out and love you all bye